This video is brought to you by Skillshare. So I decided to make a girl cheat on her boyfriend with me. On purpose. Do you hear yourself? How are you this bad at making decisions? Uh, you know it's fine, okay? You've been with me long enough to know this is a classic Kurt Ritchie video where I tell you some wild opinion, but you agree with me by the end of this whole thing, so you know it's fine. Okay, but I don't know how anyone could justify that in any scenario. Okay, well, what if the girl was gonna die if she didn't cheat on her boyfriend with me, huh? Was that the case here? Not particularly, no. Then I rest it. But you said any case, so I I'm just saying, if anything, I'm right. <sighs> Look, all I'm getting at is that I think my logic for this scenario comes from a reasonable place. Honestly, anybody in my shoes at the time would have did the same thing. Really? Because you led to this happening, which you still haven't explained. Again, blood on the wall. It's not mine. That's not the point. I'm just saying I think your decision making is far from good. My decision making is fine, Vivi. Okay, then, well, let's find out. Tell your story and we'll see if I'd make the same decisions you'd make. Ooh, scenario? Okay, okay, you're on. And, and y'all can play along, too, to see if I'm crazy or not. So, all right, let, let's run it. Let's go. So, Vivi, you're a depressed college student. This sounds nothing like me. Ah, that's because you're me in this scenario. You're a depressed college student. You just gotten through a really rough relationship thing that has nothing to do with this story at all and is not related in the slightest, obviously. So, you decided to drink with the homies because that's how you deal with depression. Then your neighbor brings over her friend and we'll call her friend T in this scenario. Now T is essentially a complete stranger for you. All you really know about her is that she takes Instagram selfies with your neighbor and they post quite a lot. But you're a good host and you think, bump it, this stranger can come into your house and drink with you, it's fine. So y'all throw back a couple Coronas and get to know each other a little bit better. Now during that time, you get in a conversation with T and you get to know her personality a little bit. And although she does seem a little bit, you know, into herself and at times, she's just like an okay person and is oddly flirty with you a little bit. Is she flirty with me or do I think she's flirty with me? Uh, irrelevant, let me finish, please. So y'all are talking for a while and the conversation's going good and until it doesn't. She says something that really gets under your skin. So much so that it really breaks your brain. So naturally like any normal person would, uh, you said she's the worst person ever, so you're gonna break her heart out of spite even though she has a boyfriend already, but you're gonna make her cheat on him because she's a bad person, you really dislike her. So yeah, what would you do in that scenario? Okay, uh, you skipped a lot there. What was it that she said? She did something that really, like, you know, made you upset. So, so what would you do? You'd want her, like, to end her relationship, right? Well, it depends on what she did. What did she say to me? Uh, she didn't know, um what race you were. Well, that's pretty understandable. I literally have tentacles for hair, so I think that's pretty fair. All right, well, again, in this scenario, you're not an alien, you're a black guy. I mean, maybe it's because I look in the mirror every day that I thought was a little obvious, but I don't know, that's just me. I, I don't know. So that made me really mad, and there are definitely no other underlying factors. Uh, so for that reason, what, what, what would you do in that scenario? There's no underlying factors. Probably let it go let it go seriously seems like it's not a big deal i don't understand see no 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 you're biased you're obviously biased that's what it is am i though now nah, hold on where are you going hey chili den uh i need y'all's opinions on a thing can you come through i feel like this is not gonna work in your favor at all mm, i think it might in the meantime i'm gonna fast forward the story a bit so now you're chilling at the bar with your homies oh this is still me in this situation yes you're still this i still gotta know what you're doing and you're kicking it with your buddies in there at the bar you see Tea. Uh, what I thought. You think this is the perfect time to put your plan into action. But you and T still hang out and drink at the corner of the bar. And y'all are kicking it all night. You talk a bit, you buy each other drinks. And over the course of the night, she tells you, I'm having a really good time. You're really cool. And you're like, ah, oh, thank you. Very non-sincere ones, but thank you. You're having a great time too. And as you're talking to them and flirting them, them, things are going pretty fast. Like you didn't have this plan till like week three, but uh, right then they're unprompted. The girl you've been trying to manipulate to cheating on their boyfriend kisses you on the cheek. What the f Oh, uh, uh, Cypher Den and Chili Panda, ladies and gentlemen. Den, I thought, I thought you didn't cuss. No, that's only on my channel. I love to f cuss. Okay, we're just gonna s keep censoring those. All right, uh. So what's the problem here? So I got this little scenario I wanted y'all's opinion on. No, no, what's the problem here? Um, my studio. Looks more like a landfill than a studio. Yeah, always constructive with the criticism, Chili. So I gotta ask y'all a question. Say someone mistakes your race. Would that make you upset? Uh, no. I think I'd probably just let it go. Yeah, I think it's an honest mistake. I don't even know what I am. Wait, seriously? Th that's what I get for asking racially ambiguous people. What? Kurt, you know I'm Asian. You've seen me in real life. I have a video called Asian Stereotypes. Oh man, these racially ambiguous people. Uh, anyways, yeah, I'd probably make fun of them for being dumb, but it wouldn't ruin their life or anything. 
Oh my god, that's what you did. Wow. What? You really are a bad decision maker. Oh, then I shouldn't probably bring up me kissing her in the bar, huh? What is wrong with you? Okay, sure, I might like make girls cheat on their boyfriends with me. Get yourselves trapped in schools. Oh yeah, yeah, we have a we have a channel, by the way. There's a new channel coming out called Recreo, like right now. After this video, you should go check those out where we do scenarios. Uh, Are you really about to plug a new channel in the middle of this video? I need y'all to know they make bad decisions, so you can't trust their opinion, obviously. Here's a clip. Is is girls locker room separate from the boys locker room or is it just the locker room? Chili, you really are not. <laughs> <laughs> God. Do you typically change with the boys, Chili? What kind of school did you go to? I rest my case. You change with the boys? I didn't know what I was saying, okay? Yeah, check it out. Kurt makes plenty of bad decisions there too. Leave me alone, Dan. The video drops now, so as soon as this video is done, go check out those videos on Recreo, please. There's three videos on the channel, and they're pretty good. You can see who's the best decision maker. It's definitely it's not you, Charlie. I haven't known you for long, but I really don't think it's you, and I'm with Kurt every day. <laughs> anyway, back to my decision. Y'all can leave now. But we just got here. You racially ambiguous people didn't help my argument, so you can just leave. It's fine. I'm Asian. Anyways, look, let me finish the video, okay? Not gonna lie, I did feel a little remorse out of that like i don't know like once you commit to like yo this girl i'm ruining the relationship it kind of makes you feel bad who would have thought uh, like uh, your conscience kicks in but for some reason i kept hanging out with her because i couldn't really get over that thing and for some reason i don't know why she went in for a kiss on the lips and this was the point you think where i'd back out where i'm like you know what this is going a little too far um but no <laughs> she leaned in we kissed on the lips in the middle of the bar this girl we had a boyfriend. I don't know what that kiss sparked off for me, but I kind of realized the real reason why I wanted to do this to her. Because that early relationship thing I was talking about at the beginning of the video that I was going through, uh, I had gotten cheated on. And to see a girl in a relationship flirt with me, I don't know, it made me kind of mad. But which it, it, I know the irony of it as I say it now. To do the same thing to her kind of is when I realized, huh, maybe this isn't the the smartest idea. I don't I don't know what was wrong with my logic, honestly. I think I was just mad and hurt. And ever since doing that, it was a decision I regretted ever since. And now I think I know a little bit better. Now, even though I did regret that, the one thing I didn't regret was this video being sponsored by Skillshare. Woo! Now, if you didn't already know, Skillshare is an online learning community that offers membership with meaning. With so much to explore real projects to create and the support of fellow creative, Skillshare empowers you to accomplish real growth. Skillshare offers classes designed for real life so you can move your creative journey forward without putting life on hold. Y'all know I practice what I preach because I've been on Skillshare watching Singing Made Easy by Gabriel Barafato because I'm trying to pick up hobbies and I like how I sing in the shower now, so it's cool. Skillshare is also incredibly affordable, especially when compared to the pricey in-person classes and workshops. An annual subscription is less than $10 a month. And because I'm so nice, the first 100 people to click the link in the description will get two free months of Skillshare. So click the link in the description to get two free months of premium membership and explore your creativity with Skillshare. What's up, y'all? Y'all, oh my gosh. Thank y'all for checking out that video. Uh, most importantly, yo, go check out Recreo. Look, like we've been working on this channel for so long and the fact that it's finally coming out is like in Saying like seriously crazy there are three videos on the channel three so go watch all of them head over there it's a really good time thank you to chili and cypher den for being on this video with me and promoting uh our shenanigans and my bad decisions if you're watching this video there'll be a stream with the retro squad on my streaming channel it's over on kurt streaming go check that out it's gonna be a good time we're having a good time it's gonna be a good friday but all right y'all that's really about it um please check out the discord check out the patreon check out recreo it's gonna be a good one y'all much love. I'm outie. Peace. <laughs>